Hi everyone, welcome to Footech Matra. Today we will see about the topic enzymatic browning. Come, let's move into the video. First, we will see what is browning. So, browning is a common color change which is seen in food during pre preparation, uh, processing, or storage of food. As the food product is concerned, there are two types of browning can be observed in food products. One is enzymatic browning and other is non-enzymatic browning. So here in this video, we are going to deal with enzymatic browning. If the product is cut and kept as such open for some period, you can notice a brown color on the cut surface. And the formation of brown color is due to the chemical reaction that commonly occur in fruits and vegetables due to the presence of enzyme in it. This is called enzymatic browning. Is this term enzymatic browning seems to be new? Okay, so the term may not be familiar, but I am sure you would have come across this enzymatic browning in your day-to-day -day life. For example, apple, pear, plantain, potato and eggplant. So if the product is cut, you can notice a brown color on the surface when it is kept open for some period. Now let us see a step little deep into the reaction behind the enzymatic browning. For this we take apple as an example. So the three components that are responsible to trigger out enzymatic browning in fruits and vegetables are phenols or polyphenols, polyphenol oxidase or phenolase enzyme and oxygen. When the phenolic compounds of fruits and vegetables reacts with oxygen in the presence of polyphenol oxidase browning occurs. In simpler terms oxidation reaction happens. So oxidation is loss of electron. So oxygen is good at taking electrons and oxygen along with phenolase to take electrons from phenol molecules and then turn them to melanin. So in broader term uh, when the cell membranes are broken the phenolic components in the presence of oxidizing enzyme oxygen and oxygen it oxidizes to orthoquinone which rapidly polymerizes to form a brown color pigment called melanin. Hope you are much familiar about the term melanin right? Yes. It is the same melanin which is responsible for our skin color and hair color. Enzymatic browning can happen during storage, handling, ripening and processing. Let us see how this enzymatic browning, browning can be prevented. So there are few methods by which formation of brown pigmentation can be avoided. First is by altering the temperature. So this can be done either by blanching it at 100 degrees Celsius for 2 to 10 minutes for a complete inactivation of the enzyme or else by refrigerating it below 7 degrees centigrade or freezing the product so which decrease the available water or uh, another method is by altering the pH. So the optimum uh, pH for a polyphenol oxidase is 6 to 7. So reducing the pH to 4 uh, by the addition of acids like citric acid, malic acid, ascorbic acid, you can reduce the uh, enzymatic browning. Another method is use of inhibitors. Uh, substances like sulfur dioxide, sulfates, bisulfate, phosphate, organic acids, addition of salt and sugar. Okay, so the most uh, simple method or the simple solution to avoid enzymatic browning is the addition of sugars and salt uh, to the cut product which will retard the browning. And another method is avoiding the contact with oxygen. So in order to avoid the contact with oxygen, the product can be either immersed in water or any fruit juice based on the product. So the next is the beneficial effects of enzymatic browning. Um, it has both beneficial effects and detrimental effects. So it uh, that is the beneficial effect or uh, producing a desirable flavor and color uh, during the processing of black raisins, black figs, tea, coffee and cocoa. And also the brown pigment melanin which is formed during enzymatic browning has an antimicrobial effect which helps in preventing the infection in the products. And similarly some of the detrimental effects due to enzymatic browning are the product may get softened much and also there might be a decrease in shelf life. And there will be a formation of black spots on the seafoods like shrimps, crabs, lobsters on the whole. It makes the food unappealing and affects the um, sensorial properties of the food. Thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, kindly comment and share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe.